Copperheads drop a tough doubleheader today at the hands of the Grand Lake Mariners. The first of the two games was really a pitcher's duel as Zach Esposito came out and started for the Copperheads, and he was pretty good through seven innings of ball. He gave up just three runs, and the Copperheads rallied in that ball game. They scored all three of their runs in the top half of the seventh. It looked as if they may be able to come out on top in that one, but unfortunately, the game went into extra innings. The Copperheads stranded a number of base runners, and they weren't able to do enough as they slipped up in the bottom of the 11th inning as Grand Lake capitalized on a bases-loaded situation and took a 4-3 to three victory into Game 2. And then, quite frankly, the second game was a different story. It was a hitter's clinic, if you've ever seen one. The, uh, both teams really came out swinging the bats well. Uh, Grand Lake jumped out early on. They took a... 7-3 uh, lead, and then they made that 9-5 as the game progressed. Then once again, in the bottom half, or I should say the top half of the seventh inning, Southern Ohio almost made a big comeback. They scored three runs late in that ball game. They got a two-run home run from Blaze Salter. They even put the tying run on second base with two outs, but then a strike three looking, kind of a story of that ball game, ended the day for Southern Ohio as they fell 9-8. In the two games combined, they had almost 30 strikeouts as a team, it was a pretty uninspiring performance from the ball club in their doubleheader with Grand Lake. So the Copperheads will be back in action tomorrow as they play their final two regular season games. They'll take on the Lima Locos here at Bob Wren Stadium. If you're able to, make sure you get out to the ballpark. It should be great. There will be fireworks after the two games have been completed. And if you can't make it to the ballpark, please, as always, listen in to Kevin Noonan and myself as we bring you the broadcast on copperheadbaseball.com and also on Power 105 here in Athens. It should be a set of great games as the Copperheads look to solidify themselves as far as playoff positioning is concerned. And one thing that I always seem to remind you of, make sure you stay connected with the Copperheads in other ways. The first of which would be Facebook, another Twitter, go, look for us at Go Copperheads, and find us on YouTube. You can search for us at Copperheads Baseball, and we'll give you constant video updates right there. With that being said, this has been a Copperheads recap of the doubleheader sweep at the hands of the Grand Lake Mariners today, 4-3 to three and 9-8 to eight up in Salida, Ohio.